Well, alright folks, it is July and that means the sun is out and we should be taking advantage of it. I'm talking about a Solio charger. On Solio.com, you can find three types of chargers. All extremely amazing. I cannot believe how amazing they are. There's one that I own that I think is probably the best one. But there's all of them in themselves, like, show a good purpose. I have the Solio Classic. I have the black version. Comes with a lot of tips. Comes with, I mean, everything you need to go. Sit out in the sun, get it charged. The H1000 is pretty much designed to clip on a bag, just to sit still. It, the cord's built in, I mean, nothing much to it. It's very good, though. I mean, I kind of wanted that one to begin with because it's a lot cheaper. But, I mean, I got the other one. Magnesium Edition, by far the best one they have, sturdiest they have, best grade solar charger, best, uh, biggest battery, and just overall the best. The Classic, I bought on Amazon, used $40 compared to the $100 they sell it for. I mean, used is a light term, the guy didn't even open the box. It's a very amazing product. Um, on their webpage, if you go from the top of the webpage here, down here, there's a Vice Compatibility page. It will tell you all the tips they can sell you. All of them are like $10 or $5 each. Not that much. I didn't buy any because I really don't need any. They came with all the ones I needed. And it comes with a variety of tips already. So you might want to look into the tips that you would need before you actually buy them with the charger. Just look into that. Um, nothing else really to it. It comes with a USB charger. But since I got an older one that was used, it came with a wall charger instead of USB. So, I mean, if that, like, if you, if you think you're getting a wall charger, you might want to think again. But, uh, overall, it's an amazing product. You should go to the webpage and research it before you buy it, though. To make sure what the kind you want works. And I believe, like, to date, it charges every type, every type of elect portable electronic, except for laptops, because the battery's too big, um, that you can think of. Except for the new Game Boy, the new DS, uh... And iPod 3G, iPod Touch second generation, and iPhone 3G and iPhone 3GS it does not charge, but it charges every phone. Uh, mo most likely every phone uh, does not charge cameras though, because cameras most cameras unless it charges off USB, it's not going to charge it at all. And it does not charge a. That's it. That is that's all. It doesn't charge cameras and iPhone 3G and 3GS and iPod Touch second generation. But anyway, I'm gonna go to my other camera and actually show you my product. So, just a minute. All right, so we have the Solio Hybrid Charger. Uh, it's a very, very good product. I would recommend it for anybody who is trying to go green. And it's summer, so the sun's always out. I mean, it's just perfect for any time of the day, no matter what time, except for night, of course. But uh, that doesn't even matter. If it's nighttime, if you charge it during the day, it has a built-in battery in the back here. And as an indicator, if you can see this, uh, you click it and it goes, it flashes. It flashes five times. And if you're uh, not a mathematician, five times times 20 would equal 100. Uh, so depending on that, each of them stands for 20. I had two, so that means I have 40% charged, about. Um, it really works with everything. It comes with all sorts of tips. Um, mine, it came with a sidekick one. I bought used from Amazon. came with a sidekick one. I don't have a sidekick. See this? Uh, I don't have a sidekick. So there's no point in that, so I just don't ever use it. I also do not have a Nokia. It does come with a Nokia. Don't need it. Don't have an LG, so I don't use it. And I do not have a SE2. I don't know what that is. And I also do not have a Samsung. So I just don't ever use those. But I do have a Motorola. Razor, so I do use the mini USB, works perfectly, and I also have iPods, and anything that really uses USB, and this is a USB replicator port, so it's like plugging your computer, you get power. Now, many people would say, oh, hey, I don't really want to sit out in the sun. Well, if, you don't, if you're not like that, and you like to travel a lot, you can just use this as your one main charger instead of lugging around a bunch, because the package I got included a wall charger, that goes into the Solio. It came with a variety of plugs. Uh, there's the United States. 
Um, I believe this one is the United Kingdom or something like that. Uh, maybe this one's the UK. This UK, Australia, and Europe are all in here. But for the most part, where I live, we all use these. So you would typically slide it in, plug it in to your charger, like that, plug in your wall, and it would charge it the same as the sun. The sun, though, is its main like source of uh, marketing. Like that's what appeals to most people is charging by the sun. Uh, anyway, it does come with a suction cup. This is for if you're in a car, you mount it on the dashboard, just right, pop it up there. Very useful. I would use it, but I don't drive. <coughs> um, this is the cord it comes with. This is the tip adapter. This part right here, it reminds me of a headphone jack. Just, just by itself, it reminds me of a headphone jack. It's, it's very good, though. And you take the tip. I'm going to start with USB. You take the tip, and you... uh. Go ahead and plug it in. There you go, it's all set up. So I take my charger. Uh, plug it in. I'm going to take my iPod cord. Take the cord. Take my iPod. I'm going to hit go. My button's pressing, so it's going to figure out its charge what kind of charge it needs, and now my iPod's already charged, but if it wasn't, you'd see it would be charging. Now many people could say, oh, you put this as like a background, this isn't real. Well, I'll just prove it to you otherwise then. Unplug my iPod. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to unplug the USB. This is a small USB LED my cousin gave me a while back. Plug it in. The USB is still working. And it just totally flashed on my hand. I mean, this is perfect. If you have any USB lighting source, you can buy lighting sources from the website too. So, charges iPods for the most part, except for the 3G or the iPod Touch second generation. It also charges. All those tips I showed you, it charges all those, but I have no proof of most of them. But I can show you, it does charge my phone. I have the Motorola Razr. Okay, just started charging, so I'm going to show you the screen. You can kind of see that. That right there, that's just charging. But, I mean... For the most part, people wouldn't use this this suction cup as much as this as much as a pen, pencil, or anything like a cylinder that can fit right inside of it. Prop it up like this and show it in the sun. Um, when it is in the sun, it doesn't automatically read. Only when it's pointed directly at the sun, which directly is a vague term, it can point it to be a little bit off. I mean, I have it set. Like, I go, I leave the house, so I leave it in my backyard for a while, and I, I have it set at, like, facing west, and it kind of, and slanted backwards, so it can pick up the sun from, like, noon all the way till night, and I live by the ocean, so, I mean, it picks it up quite a good time, I mean, all the way till the sun sets. And when it does start charging by the sun, this light right here, it's going to turn red, and that's about it. Three high-grade solar charger panels it in your pocket. You can charge it anywhere. Perfect if you have an emergency. I mean, Solio is the way to go. Uh, but mind you, mine is older. I did buy it used from Amazon because they're $100. I got it off Amazon for 40 from a used seller, which, I mean, that was amazing. $4 compared to 100 But anyway, charges everything you'd ever need. And if not, you can probably find the tip for it online.